And uh, the first person to realize there's, that there's something deeper uh, than this um, was a Cambridge physicist called J.J. Thompson. So at the end of the 1800s, J.J. Thompson discovered a particle that was smaller than an atom uh, that we now call the electron. And in 1897, he announced this uh, in this room, in fact, in, in this very lecture series, um, to uh, a stunned audience. Uh, an audience that was so stunned, at least half of them didn't believe what he was saying. But of course, it's, it, it's not a hoax. This isn't the fundamental uh, elements of nature. And um, within 15 years of J.J. Thompson's discovery, his successor in Cambridge, a man called Ernest Rutherford, had figured out exactly what these atoms are made of. We've never discovered anything smaller than the electron, and we've never discovered anything smaller than uh, the quarks. So we have three particles of which everything we know is made. And it's, it's worth stressing, it, that's kind of astonishing. You know, it's, uh, we sort of take it for granted. We learn this in school, we don't really think about it deeply. Everything we see in the world, all the diversity in the natural world, you, me, ev everything around us, we just the same uh, three particles with slightly different rearrangements repeated over and over and over again. Okay, it's, uh, it's an amazing lesson to, uh, to draw about how, how the world is, is put together.